Welcome to Ratray Park Estates, one of the most exclusive real estate pockets in Mississauga, with a winding streetscape, large homes on premium sized lots, and mature trees. Today we're touring a luxurious custom built home that features a timeless contemporary classic design. One Rat Ray Park Drive is a modern take on classic architecture with a circular asphalt driveway, cedar shake siding and poplar wood custom millwork. Black casement windows and stone foundation walls set against the wide exterior create a nice contrast and offer that contemporary look. The front porch is made of natural stone and has a pine ceiling that's rich in colour. From here it leads you to this beautiful black nine foot solid wood main door accented by side windows and complemented by a matching mudroom entrance door to create that exterior symmetry and continuity. I instantly feel at home. There's this sense of warmth that's just so inviting. You've got wide oak herringbone floors, which is an elegant way to enter the home. And to be honest, this look really never goes out of style. 10 foot ceilings throughout the main floor, which is nice because it allows light to flow through, creates a sense of spaciousness. As soon as you walk in, you see the store and it's your walk-in coat closet. So what's great about a space like this is it offers smart storage solutions to hang your coats, shoes, bags, keep everything organized and tidy and essentially keeps the foyer clutter free, which is what you want. Now over this way, this is a fully integrated smart home. So you have a 15 inch touch screen at your disposal and it just makes life convenient. The front of the house is where you'll find the home office. So walking through these double glass doors, they create that sense of importance, they maximize light, they minimize sound travel. You've got 19 foot vaulted ceilings that give this room a grand personality. Floor to ceiling windows that let in a ton of natural light. So it's open, it's airy. It really creates that right environment to think, maybe read a book and get some work done. All right, so now we'll make our way into the dining room and this is where you'll have your dinner parties, your holiday hosting, perhaps casual meals with family. You've got a drop bulkhead ceiling to create that intimate vibe. The chandelier has that focal presence, beautiful picture window to let in a ton of natural light. And then you've got built-in speakers in the ceiling to create that surround sound immersive experience, which is great if you're entertaining. Over here is a hallway that connects the dining room to the kitchen but before we get into the kitchen I do want to show you what's behind this door now what I love about this home is that it's light it's bright while this pit stop gives you that refreshing change it's a powder room that's dark and moody it's all black it's got that personality that is just a nice refreshing change as I mentioned you've got a Victorian Albert sink as well as a wall mounted faucet. The kitchen has a very neutral color palette which I love. You've got oak cabinets set against white cabinets that creates a nice calm feel to the space. There's flow, it's very warm and inviting but it's all about the high quality finishes. So let's start with these rift cut oak cabinets. They're actually more expensive than plain and quarter sewn because of the straight grain pattern that they have. You've got quartz countertops and backsplash with a beautiful grain gold veining, accentuated by under cabinet lighting, of course. Then there's this oversized undermount farmhouse sink that faces a very large window overlooking the backyard. Let's in a lot of natural light, but also gives you a really nice view. The centerpiece of this kitchen is clearly this five by 10 center island. So you've got ample counter space to cook, prep, host, a breakfast bar on two sides to uh, comfortably hang out at. We all love our pets, but we don't love kicking over those bowls. So to solve that problem over here, we have a built-in pet food station, which is great. You've also got French doors that lead to the backyard. They let in a lot of natural light in as well. Now the appliances, which I always cover, 
premium appliances in this kitchen, starting with, and they're all Thermador, by the way, starting with this coffee station. So you've got a built-in coffee machine, you've got a paneled wine fridge, you've got a paneled fridge and freezer. Over on the other side, conveniently located by the farmhouse sink is your paneled dishwasher. You've got a six burner gas cooked up with a griddle and two ovens, as well as a range hood. Now this range hood is actually hand plastered, which is a really nice textural finish and touch. And to top it off, your pot filler. Behind the kitchen is your butler's pantry. Maybe you're hosting and entertaining and you want to do some prep behind the scenes. You have plenty of storage space for glassware, serving items, plates, plenty of counter space. You've got a full height pantry cabinet over here to keep you well stocked. What I do love is this built-in Panasonic um, microwave which also doubles as an air fryer. So we all have a ton of small appliances. This takes one of them off your, uh, off your list of things that you need to have in here. For extra convenience, you've got another farmhouse sink that overlooks the backyard. This beautiful window obviously helps bring in lots of natural light and gives you that view at the same time. And the rift cut oak obviously carries on in here with beautiful display shelving to host your, you know, glassware and so forth. So with that, that's pretty much the kitchen. Let's make our way into the next room. So here we are in the family room. It has a double height, 20 foot ceiling, making the space feel very grand. It's bright, it's airy. There's a 50 inch two tier wagon wheel chandelier that drops from the ceiling and further brightens up the space. Over here is a dual gas wood fireplace with a floor to ceiling cobblestone surround that reaches all the way to the ceiling. Your hearth and mantle is hand plastered, which is a nice textural touch. The TV is inset into the actual surround, giving it a clean look. Over this way, you have a picture window, clear story window, lots of natural light that floods the space. At the moment, it's currently being used to showcase a grand piano, but this would make for a perfect breakfast nook. It really depends on how you choose to use the space. Over this way is a sliding door that leads out onto the backyard. Now, it is late March, so You'd think it'd be spring and we can spend some time out there, but we just had a recent snowfall. So out there, I can tell you, there's a covered stone patio with built-in speakers, a barbecue. You can really enjoy the outdoor space. It's, it's quite an oasis. You've got an in-ground concrete pool as well as a matching pool house for your pool equipment. There's mature landscape for that seclusion and privacy, including two Japanese maple trees, as well as 30 plus foot evergreens. The final wing on the main floor is tucked away behind the kitchen and has a few rooms, but where we're going to next is the mudroom slash laundry room. So this room saves space as it serves two purposes, making it functional and stylish. On this side is your laundry needs. So you've got your custom cabinetry, there's a quartz countertop, a washer, a dryer, a sink. You've got heated porcelain brick style herringbone floors for that chic touch. Then on this side is your mudroom needs. So you've got full height built in storage system that takes advantage of the high ceiling, a rift cut oak bench with storage underneath, plenty of wall hooks to store items on the ready. And to access the outside, there's a secondary access behind me, as well as uh, a door to access the garage right here. Over here is the pool bathroom. So it's basically a three piece bath that walks out onto the pool deck. You've got a curbless glass enclosed rainfall shower, a custom vanity, a toilet, heated marble mosaic floor tiles, which is a nice touch, and towel warmers. So what makes this space really convenient is when you're done sunbaking outside, perhaps using the pool, you can wash off and come back into the house without creating a mess. That leaves this exercise room. It's an open space, so 
If you want to stay motivated without leaving the home, you can do so in this room. You've got sliding doors that walk out onto the backyard to maximize light, bring in that fresh air. And to keep you motivated to use the space, there's a wall mounted TV, a ceiling fan and built in speakers. That's pretty much the main floor. Your way to the second floor is through this wide oak hardwood staircase with wrought iron pickets. Now on the way up, you get to a landing area that's quite spacious and allows you to have a lounging space. Now what makes this area so cool is you can sit up here and basically separate yourself from the rest of the main floor while still having a very cool bird's eye view. So second floor, this is a bright and happy space. You've got a long and wide hallway with three skylights that flood the space with natural light. It's actually really perfect to display wall art in here too. There are three bedrooms in addition to the master on this floor. They all come with walk-in closets, their own en suites with heated floors, as well as blackout blinds. So primary suite. French double doors open onto this calm and relaxing sleep space. You've got 15 foot vaulted ceilings with, which really enhance the energy and sense of spaciousness in this room. A picture window to let in a lot of natural light. It's the perfect place to escape and seek refuge from the rest of the world. Now from here, there's a seamless transition into the ensuite. The rift cut oak carries into this space with custom his and hers vanities with quartz countertops. You've got a standalone soaker tub, a curbless glass enclosed rainfall shower, a makeup vanity to keep your personal items organized as well as enhance that morning routine. Behind this door is a water closet with a Duravit smart washlet to take your personal hygiene to the next level. You've got built-in speakers in the ceiling to create that mood. And then when you're ready to get ready and put some clothes on, there's the walk-in closet. This is a double-sided walk-in closet. You've got plenty of single and double racks, shelves, cabinets. There's a window to bring in some natural light. Again, you've got a built-in speaker to uh, enjoy the mood in here while you get ready. And that's pretty much the primary suite. Finally, the lower level. You've got heated white oak floors throughout for that instant warmth and comfort. Over here is your wet bar with quartz countertops. It's bold, it's black, it commands attention. It's perfect for all those hosting and entertaining moments that you might have. You've got a sink, a dishwasher, a beverage fridge, as well as a wine cooler fridge. Now, whether you're spending time down here to relax, maybe you're inviting friends or sharing moments with family, you've got a 150 inch screen with a projector as well as Atmos ceiling speakers to enjoy constant entertainment in cinema style quality. This space has a ton of storage rooms, which can be multifunctional depending on how you want to utilize them. There's a cold room, there's a cantina, there's an additional bedroom with a four piece bath that has heated floors. And what makes this space really convenient is that it also walks out onto the backyard through these doors. So that's pretty much the lower level. And that's it, that is 501 Rattray Park Drive, a custom built classic contemporary home in the heart of Rattray Park Estates, now for sale for $5.499 million. Now that I have your attention, contact listing salesperson Maggie Kubat to get your hands on this listing before it's gone. Don't forget to sign up for a membership on the channel for behind the scenes exclusive content. Follow me on socials and check out my Amazon store for must have household items. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one.